Hi folks, thanks for joining me. I'm back in the shop here killing some time, uh, letting this uh, nasty weather move out of here. And then hopefully, uh, if the uh, weather does permit by the end of the week, I'll be able to uh, get back on the Crossley 718 cabinet. You can see here I've got my uh, capacitor outside foil sniffers here on the bench. These are all the ones that I built. And uh, one new addition here as well that we'll spend some time on. I just uh, threw it together here in a couple hours or so, playing around with a, uh, a kind of a different method and procedure for identifying the outside foil. This unit, this unit, and this unit all work off the same principle. I'm actually inserting a signal across the uh, capacitor and I'm measuring or receiving the signal on the outside foil. So in those cases, I'm actually looking at egress. This unit's a little different. It has an external uh, noise source that can be leveraged as well, in addition to a white noise uh, generator. The one that I just constructed here, again, it works just like using your oscilloscope and your finger. So uh, through induction, since we're surrounded here in the States by um, a 60 hertz signal, I can just uh, lay my finger across the uh, capacitor, amplify that signal, and uh, measure the AC voltage here on my digital multimeter. We'll demonstrate that, then I'll share the uh, circuit. If you uh, want to build one of these, it's uh, probably the most simple circuit out of the ones that you see to uh, construct. And then uh, you can see here I've got it just on a uh, small circuit board. No switch. And uh, just plug it in. Place your capacitor here between this rail, this rail. Adjust the, uh, the gain. Measure the uh, AC voltage. And uh, flip it around. And uh, real quickly you can discern those uh, low value capacitors that are somewhat uh, problematic at times. Let's look real quick here at the uh, white noise uh, generator. Again, I've got the uh, circuit looped together here just using the internal uh, source. And when I flip this on, you'll hear the noise here from the speaker. And of course, it's louder when I toggle to the right. So the way I've got this wired, that indicates this is the uh, foil side with the most uh, noise. Let me place this capacitor here in uh, this particular unit here. And then we'll run the uh, same capacitor here and insert it here. And we'll compare the differences here. Okay, you can see I've got the uh, capacitor placed here. This is the uh, pickup coil. And when I toggle the switch, the side that uh, when the LED lights up the brightest would be the uh, outside foil side. Flip this other light off. So you can see how that works. Again, we're at a higher value capacitor, and uh, that's not possible with the uh, lower value caps, like the 0 0.001 up to uh, just under 0 0.01 microfarads. Let's move this capacitor back over to the uh, new tester, and uh, flip on the meter, and I'll demonstrate how this unit works. Go ahead and uh, flip this over to uh, millivolts, and I'm going to just insert the uh, capacitor here between the two rails inside the uh, zip socket. Lock it in place, and you can see when I put my uh, finger here, we're picking up, uh, in my case, 60 hertz noise, and uh, we're able to see that through the uh, buffer amplifier. 
and look at the uh, AC voltage. So I'm going to try to leave my hand steady here for reference. And you can see I'm somewhere around uh, 225 or so, maybe when it peaked. Let me uh, unlatch this and uh, reverse the leads. Lock this in place and you can see the AC voltage at this point. So what we're looking at, this side here would be the uh, foil side. And that's uh, known by reversing the leads and having the least amount of uh, noise on this side. Or when it was inverted or inverse of what you're seeing with the uh, most signal present would uh, identify the outside foil. And you can see I already have a note here where we marked the outside foil. So it corresponds with that well. Let me grab one of the uh, low value capacitors and uh, just show you how well it works, helping uh, discern those as well. Alright, let's insert this uh, point zero zero one microfarad cap in here and lock it in place and you can see here I've already marked uh, the uh, foil side it's already been identified but I'll show you guys the uh, measurements here place my finger here we'll just take note of the uh, AC voltage let me get my hand back over here so it uh, somewhat locks down so point seven six two Let's unlatch and reverse this. And point 0.748. So less signal. And uh, that would be correct because you can see the foil side going to ground. And of course that would have the highest signal when it was attached in the opposite direction. You can see there, there's very little difference. Less than uh, 1 dB of difference when you convert the uh, voltages there back to uh, decibels. So if you guys are interested in uh, building this, I'll place the uh, schematic on my uh, Google Drive along with the other schematics for the other previous builds as well and uh, you can grab a uh, copy for yourself. And it appears again using the uh, ingress method versus egress. Uh, there is a difference. As uh, Mr. Higgins uh, noted as well, there would be. But the uh, lower value capacitors less than the 0 0.01. Uh, very little difference if the uh, outside foil was uh, connected in the opposite uh, direction. Those higher value caps, though, you'll definitely see a, a significant difference there in the amount of uh, signal that uh, potentially could be uh, inserted back into your uh, circuit. You guys uh, take care, stay well, and uh, hopefully we'll have another video there on the uh, Crosley soon.